All right, what's up everybody? Back again today with another awesome MCAT question of the day slash DAT. I've been told that this applies to DAT as well, which is great because I want to help as many people as possible. Um, but it says, uh, recently it was found that when rats are given a dietary supplement of spermidine, shown below the structure, their cardiovascular function improved drastically. Part of this improvement can be attributed to the ability that spermidine has to stabilize DNA. What aspect of DNA does spermidine have a particularly high affinity for? So I love this question. First of all, in case we're trying to break this down, this is a biochem question, and it's an application-based question. And you'll see that spermidine is shown right here. And this is actually true. The, the findings has been shown to help cardiovascular function. In the paper, I will link below. Um, everything I say here is true. But you'll see that it, it, it's a biochem question because it links DNA to another molecule. It's trying to under, help you understand these two different things. But the other thing you want to note is this note. So there's a very important note here that's at the bottom. It says the note is that the pH of the cell is 7.4 and that the pKa for most amines is 9.5 to 11. That's very important because that's going to be something we're going to need to remember moving forward because pKa and pH come together to tell us whether or not certain things will be protonated or not. So let's talk a bit about DNA first because um, DNA is a part of this question because it's asking us where does spermidine attach to DNA. So in case you didn't already know, DNA has three important subunits and I've drawn them in the upper right hand corner. Uh, and the first one is a phosphate group. So there's a phosphate group. And the thing I want you to know about the phosphate group is that it's negatively charged. That's something that students often forget because they it, it can be easy to miss. But notice that every phosphate has a negative charge. So DNA as a whole is negatively charged. The other thing I want you to remember is DNA also has a 5-carbon sugar. I'm not going to go into exactly what it is, but it's, it's called deoxyribose, right? It's called deoxy because there is no 2 prime hydroxyl in DNA, okay? You'll notice that this, I'm circling in the, I'm annotating the image in the top right. You'll notice that this hydroxyl in the second carbon position is not present. There's no OH here. And that's why it's called deoxy. There's no oxygen there. Deoxyribose. It's ribose except without the oxygen on the 2 prime carbon. And last but not least, uh, DNA has four nitrogenous bases, and you know you should know that C and G pair together, and they pair together to make three hydrogen bonds between them, and A and T pair together to make two hydrogen bonds. So even though this is just something that I wanted to give you an insight into, it's also something that will help you in the long run, because all this stuff I just mentioned about DNA, you should memorize this page, because this is stuff that you'll need to know for several other questions moving forward, not just this one. Okay, so assuming we know that about DNA, let's talk a bit about spermidine. So spermidine is shown here, and I, and I attached the question at the top. And the thing I want you to remember is that the pH of a cell is 7.4, and the pKa for most amines is 9.5 to 11, right? So if you were to average that, I'd say like the average pH of that is like, what, 10.25-ish? So if that's the average pKa, the other thing you need to remember is that the pKa is much, much, much greater than the pH, right? The pH of the cell is less than the pKa of each of the amines, right? And one thing you need to know is when the pH is less than the pKa, whatever you're examining should be protonated. And for amines, that's especially true. If you're examining amines and they're present in a pH that is less than their pKa value, they will be protonated. And what do I mean by protonated? I'm telling you that anytime you see an NH2, it will be converted to an NH3 because the pH is significantly more acidic than the pKa of the amine. So if you don't understand why this is, this is partially because of the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. And I've made a video about the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So if you need help with that, definitely wait until the end of the video and you can click on that link. Or you can go to the description box and there will be a link to my Henderson-Hasselbalch video. But the point is, anytime the pH is less than the pKa, amine groups should be protonated. And assuming amine groups are protonated, are at pH 7, spermidine will not look like this. Spermidine will actually look Instead, actually, I'm using a wrong color. Let me use blue so you guys can see it better. Spermidine should actually be protonated on each of these amines. It should be an NH3 here, protonated. This should be an NH2, protonated. This should be an NH3, protonated. The point is, at a pH 7, the net charge on spermidine should be positive 3 because every single amine will be protonated because the pH is less than the pKa. And again, that's something that you should derive from Henderson-Hasselbalch, but also something you should get used to doing rel relatively quickly. 
So assuming you know that the charge is positive 3, now we have to put our two pieces together. We've analyzed DNA, which is shown here. We've analyzed spermidine, which is shown at the top, right? So now we have to see how they interact. But remember, remember what I told you? Phosphate groups are negatively charged. And what did I tell you about spermidine? Spermidine is pos positively charged. So I don't know if I said that right, just to make sure. I'm telling you phosphate groups are negatively charged, and we, we examined that that spermidine is positively charged. So what do you think? Where will spermidine attach in DNA to stabilize the DNA? Where would it attach? And if you're thinking positive charge, you are absolutely right, because believe it or not, negative charge attracts positive charge. And what have we found out so far? We found out that the phosphate groups are negatively charged, as I'm circling right now. But the other thing that we've also found out is spermidine is positively charged. So spermidine will be attracted to the negatively charged phosphate groups, and that's where it will actually attach and bond. And so, when we go back to the original question, and it says, it gives us spermidine, and it asks us, where would it associate in DNA? You had to make the jump to know that this is going to be protonated, right? And once you found out this was protonated, you realized that this would have a charge of plus 3. And when you knew it had a charge of plus 3, you had to remember that phosphate groups in DNA are negatively charged, right? And then once you made the link that phosphate is negatively charged, you should have uh, been able to conclude that spermidine um, attracts to phosphate. And that's where it binds, and that's how it stabilizes this DNA. And therefore, the answer here is B. Awesome application. Learned a bit of biochem and got much more out of it. Um, and I hope this helped you, hope you gave you some insight into DNA, some insight into biochem, some insight into Henderson Hasselbach. And with that, uh, make sure you stick around. If you need to see where the Henderson Hasselbach video is, I'll mention at the end of the end of this video, and it's also linked in the description below. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Please subscribe, uh, comment, like, share. All right, thanks. See you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. You want to check out any of my other videos, there's going to be one right here. Another link to one of my videos right here. And another video right here. Why not? I'll put one video right over here. And last but not least, if you want to subscribe to this channel, really appreciate it because I'm still an early YouTuber trying to get it down. But a subscription button should be right over here. So please subscribe. Cool. Thanks. See you guys in the next one. Hope you find these videos helpful.